Now, with all this talk about templates in ClickUp and how to import them and how to get them and all of that stuff, how do you actually build your own templates in ClickUp? Because right now we don't have a template library. It's not that you can go in there and just look how your template looks like. Today, I'm gonna show you how we internally handle with clients as well as straight up here on Ask Evie, the template building development and figuring it all out. Hi everybody, I'm Yvonne with AskEvie.com and I am a business efficiency consultant for digital entrepreneurs. Now, if you are ready to streamline your business to skyrocket your sales, click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Templates in ClickUp, a godsend. But building templates in ClickUp can be quite the struggle. We do not yet have a template library where we really can see what the template is going to be like, what we're going to have and all of those things. So how do you do all of that? How do you build your template, save it and then use it? What we do here at Ask Evie, as well as all of my clients, we actually build a space that is just for templates. Make one space right here, templates. And that is where you are going to work in your templates, just like you would be building it for a client, for a specific task, for a specific list, whatever it is. This is your sandbox to play around, to screw things up, to change things over and do all the things. Now, how do we actually work with this? Just like I said, when you are in your template space, you build those templates just like you would use them. And kitty, sorry, I imported this template which already has the assignee in. And that's exactly what you want to do. Even though Kitty is going to shoot me <laughs> because she just got a notification that a new task got assigned to her because I'm playing around again recording YouTube videos. You build these tasks either way from templates that you got somewhere else or in this case from scratch. Add your information on top, add your subtasks, add your lists, build out this complete task as if you are getting ready to use it tomorrow for your content creation. With due dates, with assignees, with attachments, whatever you want to do, I want you to put all of that information in here. This is where you adjust it. This is where you change it. This is where you optimize it. And then you go right up here and you say, save as template. If you're doing this the first time, you are giving this template a name. You then choose who you want to share it with. Do you just want to keep it to yourself? Do you want to share it with everybody? Do you just want to share it with the admin? Do you just want to share it with specific people? Do you want to share it with all members? Now, here comes the point where you need to decide how you want to run your ClickUp. I have clients that are like, I don't want my team to change those templates. That means they need to choose the only me. But that also means that the team cannot pull in that template for tasks that are coming up. That means my client is the one who's going to have to set up that template. Not a problem if you make it a recurring task, but if there is that manual piece of generating that task, the client is going to have to do it because the team cannot access it. The secondary level could be admins. If you are working with a team that has admins and account managers and then just guests that are coming in as independent contractor, you could choose admin. If you choose all members, that will mean everybody can pull this template, update this template, change this template and do all the things. And in between could be sharing it just with selected people. If you have an operations manager that does those tasks or a VA, they could take over that manual piece of creating the task rather than just a contractor that potentially might be changing things around. This is also where you find your public sharing. Once you save that, you will get a public link to share this specific template. Now, if you are overriding an existing template because because your SOP changed and your workflow changed and you were just adjusting things, which happens all the time. Again, this is a living, breathing organism. We are constantly moving things around and changing things here. You click on here and you find that specific template 
that you are editing, which is this one right there. Ask TV YouTube process. We are keeping it for everyone. We already got the public link here. You need to choose what you want to keep for this template. Do you want to keep the assignee? In this case, no, because once you download that, you're not going to have those people either way. Start date, comment attachments, keep the statuses, keep the priority, watches. Watches on a side note can be quite annoying because you literally get notified of everything. I We personally don't use watches much. It's just a whole bunch of mess in your notifications for us. Tags, subtasks, custom fields, description, time estimate, dependencies, checklist, attachment, due dates, all right there. And then you just save template. And this is how you either way save a fresh template or how you overwrite an existing template. This is our only way how we at this point can work with templates. I recommend having a template space where you are collecting all of your templates, but also make sure when you decide to change a template, to optimize a template, make sure you have the latest version, which means add a new task in here, pull in the template fresh before you start working on it, just to make sure the version you have in here is the newest and up-to-date version. And it's not one that you saved about three years ago and and you have to redo completely everything because you can save templates from somewhere else. And this is how we work through template building, template generation, template optimization, and then also saving them as well as easily being able to share them. This is why we have our links right in here for the documents to preview them and for any click up templates that we are ready to share. Now comment below. Are you using templates? What are some of your favorite templates and what templates would you love to see? I would love to hear from you. And if you haven't done so yet, go hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video and you don't miss out on new templates coming soon. If you like these kind of videos, the thumbs up lets me know to produce more of these type of videos.